Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a particle system that loops seamlessly, such as the one you see here. Let's get into it. I'm first going to just open up a new file here. And I'm going to delete the default cube by pressing X on my keyboard once. And click on delete. Then I'm going to add a plane. Add mesh plane. This is my particle emitter. I'm going to scale it up by pressing S on my keyboard once and moving my mouse. And once I'm happy with the size, I'm going to left click. So that confirms the size. Then I'm going to zoom out by scrolling with my mouse wheel. And I'm going to grab the object uh, by pressing G once on my keyboard. And then I'm going to lock it on the Z axis by pressing Z once. So I'm going to raise it up slightly just so it's over the camera. Okay, left click there and I can move around by holding down my middle mouse button, the scroll wheel, like so, and I can pan the view by holding down left shift and middle mouse button, like so. All right, so we want to make this a particle emitter, so we're going to go here to the particle properties tab, click that, and click on the plus icon to add a new particle settings particle system and now if you hit play uh, which is the space bar when you're hovering over the 3d view you can see particles are coming out all right now we want to make the timeline a bit bigger so i'm going to pull it up and we want to restrict the animation currently it takes uh, 250 frames we want to start by zero so we're going to change this to zero and we're going to make the endpoint 100. So we get 100 frames of animation. All right. So the particle settings um, is all good. We also should change the um, frame start here to be, let's make it minus 50. And Let's make the end 50. You're going to see in a moment why. Because now we're going to add another particle settings, particle system. And this one is going to have a frame start of 50. And the end point is going to be 150. So it's going to run 100 frames such as uh, the first one. Okay, so these two basically overlap now. So the start frame for the first particle system is minus 50 frame, and it's gonna end here in the middle at frame 50. And the second particle system is gonna start at frame 50 and end uh, past our timeline, active timeline, it's gonna end at 150. So they overlap, and when we play this animation, you should get a nice seamless loop. So that's how you do it. 